Hey, what's up nerds? Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to set up NTP on your ESXi host. Now, before we jump into that, I want to be very clear. You should set up NTP not only for your ESX or your vSphere host, but also for your vCenter appliance as well. And I actually did a video, which I'll drop, I'll, I'll throw a little link at the top of the video on how to do that as well for vCenter. But in this video, we are going to specifically target ESXi. So let's jump right into it. And before you do that, make sure you subscribe. There's like 85% of you that watch these videos are new to the channel. So I want you guys to subscribe so you can stick around and see more content like this. And mostly just me making a fool out of myself. I kind of like having a larger audience for that. So that said, let's get into it. All right, so here we are inside of vCenter. Now to set up NTP for one of our hosts, we just need to select the host in the left in our inventory. Then in the right, we're going to select configure right here while we've got our host selected. From there, we're then going to scroll down to system and time configuration right here. We'll go ahead and select that. All right, once we've done that, we then want to focus on this section right here, time synchronization services, and we are going to hit add service. Here we have the option of either selecting precision time protocol or PTP or NTP, in other words, network time protocol. Now, most people will probably be using an NTP service, so we're going to select the NTP here. All right, once we've done that, all we really need to do to get this working is specify an NTP server right here, and we can use commas to specify multiple as well. In my case, I'm just going to specify time.google.com. That is the NTP server I use in all of my labs for everything. And by the way, it's probably a good tip in your labs to be consistent with whatever source you use use that same source for everything as just kind of a general best practice. All right, so now that we've specified that NTP server, let's go ahead and hit OK. That's all there really is to it. From there, you see the status is stopped. We need to go ahead and start it. So I'm going to select that service and oops, there we go. It did end up starting. I just was impatient. OK, if for some reason it is stopped, by the way, there's a pro tip. You can just simply select it and then hit start, obviously. But from there, we do see time service is not synchronized. It will take a little bit of time for that to go away, but it should go away once it synchronizes. That said, that's all I really have for you guys in this lesson. Pretty short and sweet. Until next time, stay nerdy.